Yeah, Shep, good evening. And the search effort here at the Carlton Reserve seems to be slipping into a bit of an uneasy rhythm, if you will. Search team showing up just after sunrise, pulling out of the area just before sunset. It was the first time we saw divers as a part of that search effort here. The Sheriff's Underwater Recovery Force, or SURF team, as you talk about, highly trained, specializing in finding evidence in Florida's murky ponds and swamps. We also saw pump trucks, backhoes, and tractors move into the area today. Investigators insisting they're going to cover all 25,000 acres of this nature reserve that in some spots seems more like a swampy wasteland. To this point, officials telling us that that effort has not turned up laundry, of course, or any key evidence in the manhunt to find him. Back at his house a few miles from here, neighbors told Fox News this afternoon they saw Laurie and his father, Laundry and his father, rather, uh, loading supplies into his father's pickup truck with a camper on top, and that the family left for a weekend just about a week and a half after he returned home without his girlfriend, Gabby Petito. Now, the neighbors say that they've told police this information, and Shep, what police are saying here, as well as federal agents, is anything, any information about Brian Laundrie right now is very important as they continue this process. Jay Gray, thank you.